John Luke here with Guardian Fleet Safety. This thing is a beast. 2017 GMC Sierra 2500. We're going to show you today what we did to this thing. This is a, a complete law enforcement build for an agency out in Western North Dakota, out in the oil fields. Um, so to start off this thing, this is a Go Industries uh, push bumper, and it's got the ultimate armor, which is essentially like a Line X bed type coating that they put on here. Uh, really, really heavy duty, a lot better than your standard powder coat that's really prone to chipping from rocks and whatnot. Um, on the grill here, this is a sound off signal, six head N-Force exterior light stick. Dual color, so it's red, blue split, but then it's also got a white override. Obviously we have our siren speaker on the push bumper as well. Uh, we just added a headlight flasher down here on the fog lights. Um, and the reason they're down there is because this truck has projection lights and you're not really able to wigwag those as you would with a traditional high beam. Um, and then up on the top of the light bar, we have a 54 inch Whelan uh, Legacy light bar that's got the smoked lenses. The light bar is actually in low power mode right now. Um, so if it looks um, not as bright as this, that's because if that was on full power mode, that would be so bright it'd kind of be blinding you guys. So let's check out what else we did with this thing. So this is not a police package. It's a police truck, but not a police package because you can't buy a GMC Sierra 2500 in a police package. Um, but what we had was a spotlight put on here from the dealership, um, so it, it can still be utilized as a um, law enforcement application vehicle. Uh, lighting on the side is uh, fairly minimal. That was at the request of the customer. Uh, but as you can see, that legacy light bar still projects a lot of light out to the side. Um, and then we have a sound off signal M power back here on the rear quarter panel. So this truck has a very unique purpose. Uh, it does commercial vehicle enforcement and weights. So um, what you're seeing back here is, is from a company called Highway Products and that's essentially a, a really heavy duty bed cap system. And then inside in a second here I'll show you, it has a uh, pull out drawer system for the scales that they actually weigh these heavy semis on. Um, so a lot of the lighting was really focused more towards the back because this truck spends a lot of time on the road. Um, so up here on the top of the bed cap we have a pair of uh, Whelan M7s which as you can see punch out a ton of light. Um, and then obviously you can still see the legacy light bar. That's still in low power mode up there. So keep in mind that light bar is not looking super bright. That's because it's low power. Um, <clears throat> down here we have a pair of amber sound off signal M powers that are in these wheel wells. This works real nice. You can put your foot up there and you don't have to worry about hitting this. Um, we don't put anything in the taillights. Again, um, if at all possible, we try to advise our customers, stay away from the taillights because um, especially if you're out in extreme weather, you're gonna get salt in there, you're gonna get water in there. Even if you seal them really, really good, just the, the freezing, heating, freezing, thawing, that cycle will loosen up that, that sealant and after a while you're gonna get leaks and ruin your taillights. That's why we didn't put anything in here. It's not worth it. Um, down here we have sound off signal rock light housings, which are essentially a heavy duty uh, housing that you can kick. All that kind of stuff you're not gonna break. That's heavy duty steel. It's not going anywhere. And then we just substituted the ghost lights that are normally in there for the sound off signal M powers. Reason being those M powers, they're totally sealed in silicone. They're really, really, really heavy duty, and they're made for this harsh environment that this is gonna seat out here, getting rocks thrown at it, gravel on almost a daily basis, snow, ice, anything that it can throw at it, these lights are gonna be able to handle. Okay, so as I said, special purpose uh, bed cap system. Unlatch that, this opens up, tailgate comes down, exposing dual colored uh, M-Power, I'm sorry, these single color M-Power lights here, okay? And then this whole system, pulls out and this is where your um, scales racks would be stored and they can pull it out from here as well as cubby storage to access your medical bag whatever else you want to store in there okay so as you hear in all of our videos we love dual color technology perfect example right here of why we love dual color technology uh, we have our bed light and our rear scene lights on the control head turned on right now. So what you saw before that was flashing on the side, um, down here and right here, now have override to white, and that's gonna provide your scene lighting. So if the guy is out here at night um, weighing a semi, he's gonna have 
complete seam lighting in the back here to be able to access his equipment. These ones down here, they shine right down the side. They shine into these pockets here so he can see the equipment that he's grabbing. Obviously, if we had the emergency lights still turn on, you'd still have your M7 flashing. And even though the light bar that Legacy is lit up, it would still be flashing red-blue because it has the ability to flash red and blue and white at the same time. Um, so you'd get essentially both lights flashing at the same time, but also you get all the rear lighting on the light. So when it's dark, which obviously it's still kind of light out, when it is dark, it, it lights up um, a, ton of, a ton of space. So... Okay, so like I said, you know, we have seam lighting to the side here. We also put an M power on the inside of these side uh, storage drawers here, I guess it, for lack of a better term. Um, so when the deputies grab an equipment out of here at night, they have light in here. And then you can also still see with the alley light function and the seam light function, you still have a lot of light projected out of the side. So again, if you're pulled up next to a semi, uh, he's able to weigh that semi instead of before trying to use a flashlight to do all this, he can light up the entire work area and just makes it safer for the deputy and um, you know, ultimately safer for the traveling public too. All right, so we're here in the cabin of this 2017 GMC Sierra and uh, we did some really unique stuff with this. Um, this is a, a really good example of the working relationship we have with our customers. When they come to us and they really explain their true needs and we really work with them to get them the product that they need. So. Uh, what we have here is a Havis console um, with a um, attachment bracket that's made just for this vehicle. Um, and it kind of uses this little open area here. They still have full use of all the factory functions here, um, turning off their traction control, their rear cargo lights and whatnot. Um, this was a big issue that they were able to retain this center console. They did not want a police center console because... Um, this truck is using more of a non-traditional police um, um, use, but it's uh, um, so it's officer comfort was a big part of this because the, the deputy spends a lot of time in this vehicle, um, and comfort was a, a big part of that. So um, this is a CB radio, which you wouldn't normally see, but again, the deputy does a lot of commercial vehicle and well, strictly commercial vehicle enforcement. Um, so having a CB um, is is very useful to them. So we added that in there. Um, as well as a Motorola um, standard radio. So up top here, um, we have a Troy Products um, overhead replacement console, and that's where we chose to uh, relocate the control panel for this um, Sencom Sapphire control head. Now the reason we did that is we had a lack of room down here, and they offered this option up there. This is actually for the Chevy Tahoe, um, but it's a direct fit to any of the GMC Sierras or Chevy Silverados. They all use the same overhead console. So that worked out really great. Um, have all of our lighting controls up there um, in lieu of having it down here or somewhere else where it's just not as easy for the officer. Some of the other cool things that we did with this squad car, um, as usual, our magnetic mic. Um, we also added in a uh, Panasonic Arbitrator 360 high definition camera system, which is tied into the laptop, which we don't have. Um, that's why you just see the docking station here. Um, also has a stalker radar. Um, we custom mounted the printer here um, on their old squad car. They actually had it up on the uh, dash here, which was a little bit of a safety concern. So we actually custom mounted this to the back of the docking station, which worked out really nice. Um, this docking is, uh, pull assembly is actually a ram mount um, that mounts to the seat and then moves up and, and again kind of puts it where we want it here. License plate scanner. Um, and then just some of your other normal stuff that you would see. Again, the siren controller up here. Um, and then we have some switches for our master power, um, as well as some additional lighting within the vehicle. Because of the special use of this, we did not go with a full traditional cage. Um, what we ended up doing was putting in a custom cage, which is essentially a one-third partition or a half cage, some people call it. Um, we also mounted a red and white dome light in there, and that switch is mounted to the console. So... So for nighttime use, they got the red light, um, and then you flip the switch the other way, it goes to white for you know whatever use they might want that. Um, and then on the windows here, we have Sentina's window bars. So it worked out real nice. Um, again, th this vehicle's not gonna see a lot of prisoner transports, but obviously it's a law enforcement vehicle. It needs those um, there in the event that they do have to transport somebody. Well, there you go. That's what we got into this thing. Uh, pretty extensive build we did for this. <clears throat> uh, we do wanna send a shout out 
to um, all the folks with the smaller agencies and maybe agencies that have a little bit more restricted budgets. We definitely want to work with you guys too. Um, one of our specialties is working with agencies that don't have unlimited funds to uh, really build what they sometimes need or want. Um, and uh, one of the fun things we get to do is sometimes find unique ways to make things happen that uh, sometimes can't happen through other out outfitters or um, aren't necessarily uh, able to be put into a budget. So if that's something like you guys do where we really want to see you guys being safe out there and getting the equipment that you need to do your jobs, um, contact us and let's see what we can work out. Um, again, this was a good example of us being able to come, with, come together with the customer, get them exactly what they wanted and exactly what they needed, but we understand that's not always feasible and that's not how our world works and that's definitely not how government works. So we want to help you out as best we can. We want to give you a high quality installation. Uh, we want to give you that lifetime warranty. We really want to partner up with you guys to make sure that your officers are being safe out there and have the best equipment possible. So thanks for watching. Uh, check us out on Facebook. If you guys want to see detailed pictures of what we do and kind of keep up to date with what we're doing, Facebook's the best way. We always got stuff going on up there. Just uh, When you're on Facebook, just search Guardian Fleet Safety. We'll pop right up. Uh, like us on there, and you can keep tabs on the other cool projects that we're working on. Thanks again.